Hi everybody, welcome back to Tam Predicts and lots of lots of messages for you. Also, I'm going to start my classes tarot. I'm just going to take uh, two, three different classes and I'll tell you I won't uh, stretch it much because I've seen the attention span is low. So two master classes. Uh, if you're a new reader or if you want to learn, you can learn psychic tarot through me. Okay, I promise to make it fun and very informative. <laughs> so let's see what are the messages for you. I've written a few handwritten channel messages here. Okay. I, I feel getting on top of a situation, you know, understanding what to do in a situation. They are understanding what to do in a situation and wanting to talk to you or to understand the better uh, situation better. I feel better understanding. That's the only thing I get. And better understanding is more clarity. Okay, that's what I feel. I feel if they have been not reading your messages, if they've not been taking your calls, this is the time they're going to, uh, you know, take your calls or read your messages. Okay, this is... Uh, now I feel a more open energy before that, you know, whatever used to say or whatever used to message them, either they did not use, they did not read it or they did not reply to it very soon. They took their own sweet time, you know, being in their own world. I was going to say being in their own world and you've got the fool card. The fool is in their own world, you know, very creative person wanting to do what they have to do, um, you know, just going by what they like, you know, not uh, I feel with this card again, not bothering about what you want. But this is going to change, you know, because I remember I said a whole new perspective. Okay, they fe they're feeling what you feel. And uh, I wrote the word sorry and I really feel a sorry is going to come or a forgive me or I'm sorry I did not understand what you were going through or what I put you, you know, uh, through even in the relationship. So that's going to come. Sorry, the chair is squeaky. <laughs> I'm turning it a bit. This is Queen of War uh, Swords. This is so beautiful. This is your energy, you know, now you were in that mood that you also were like your sword is up, you know, your guard is up because either you did not believe in them, either you thought they're lying or either you thought they're not going to, you know, see your perspective. So if in fact, you know, uh, if you said something, they had their sword up, you know, they would want to fight. But here you're like, I've done enough of fighting. You want to come, you know, give me the hand of peace. I am fine. I want peace in my life. The word that I get is peace in my life because you're done fighting. See? This is somebody tired. This is both of you tired. This is how I'm reading the card, you know, very, very differently. Nine of nine of wands. I'm reading that uh, definitely tired, you know, not wanting to fight anymore. This, this is a person who's like lost, tired, you know, wondering what they did in life, you know, what wrong they did. And suddenly it feels lonely also. Maybe they fought so much with you. They did not reply to your messages. They're lonely now. They're stepping forward. See, if you see all the wands are at the back, they've got one wand here. So they're stepping forward, which means a reply or some kind of a communication, or maybe one word, like very monologue kind of a thing, but definitely coming towards you. You guys have had a hard time, okay? And uh, you feel uh, you feel more betrayed by them, okay? You feel like, I don't deserve the way, you know, you've been treating me recently. I get very recently they changed or something, the treatment wasn't right. So you're like, I do not deserve this. I do not deserve this words. I do not, I do not, this is a backache, but it's more like I don't uh, deserve this heartache. It's like almost you questioning them, you know, with this card now I get, what wrong did I do? What did I do? All I did was care about you, love you in ways that you don't even know. So what have I done wrong? And something you did, you know, you were kind with them still. Something you did or something you said in a message or, you know, when you leave a message or you leave a voicemail and you're like, hey, I've done everything, you know. Uh, it's it's your choice. And this is making them realize that they've not really been good to you. Look at this, guys. Fast. They're going to take action fast. They know they know that uh, the separation has you has made you stronger. Look at this. The separation or the way you are now, you know, or the way they acted. Totally like a carefree person. I'm going to use the word Casanova for some of you. I'm picking up the word. Maybe that's the way you thought that, hey, I mean, what's wrong? I never thought you were like a Casanova or something. You are coming or the way you're talking or the way you've been behaving, conducting yourself seems like you've become a Casanova, you know. And you really made them change their perspective towards themselves and the relationship. Because I feel they have to see, you know, what they've done wrong, you know, how they've hurt you and they have to, you know, mend things between you two. And this is why they suddenly realize, this is sudden realization and thinking, hey, have I lost somebody who really loves me? 
hey, have lost someone who really cares about me. Hey, do they even think about me or not? So they are worried that do you even think about them? Sorry, I'll just see if there's a bag. <laughs> so do you even worry about them? Look at this. You've got so much, so much, so many wands and swords. It's like fire and air clashing, you know, and, and the sound that it makes. It could be a sizzling. I'm going to uh, use the word sizzling because that's what I'm uh, getting. It could be a sizzling relationship, a great relationship, but something went wrong. Look at this. You've got a stick in one hand. You've got a flower in one hand. So you're, you know, you, you're holding back. You're holding back your message and call. And you're like, I want peace. I want, I want peace. And I see flowers and I, I wrote daffodil, you know. But maybe sunflowers are important. Or daffodils are important for you in some way. Seems like, almost like daffodils. <laughs> They're not, but yeah. And they know that you're getting stronger each day. I mean, the way they, they left you or the way they stopped talking to you, stopped re uh, uh, replying to you, only made you stronger. You're like, hey, I'm not going to give in, you know. You're in the energy of, hey, I'm not going to give in, okay. And uh, it's whatever you want to do, I am very strong. Eight number could be important for you. Infinity sign is important for you. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be a Leo. But definitely this is strength. This is this is you taming taming negativity in yourself, okay. This is now you not being a tame person or very timid person. Okay, the word that I look, was looking for is timid. I'm not timid. And see the eight that you get in infinity. You were with, in loops with this person, you know, good, bad, roller coaster ride. It, it went on and on. But you played it in your own way. I mean, you turned it around and made yourself strong. You're like, if you battle with me, I am ready for a battle because I am not wrong. And you know, you are not wrong. So why should you not, why should you step back? Because you're, you're right. You showed them, you showed them a, a mirror like nobody else told them that they're wrong. You know, they're, they're the kinds who uh, uh, do things their own way and nobody tells them. People are scared or maybe they have an anger issue. I also get, you know, addiction issue. And uh, you're the one who said, hey, this is the mirror. This is how you are. And if you like this, I'm not going to be with you. I am going to leave. This made them thinking, you know, this made them, you know, uh, got them down to earth. I, because this is pentacles, this is first pentacles I think I've got. And this is them realizing that they have to put in some hard work. Because this is the love or everything that you gave to them, they've collected. But right now you have, you, they're like, um, sorry, you're like, you have to do some hard work, you know. And in the relationship, otherwise, uh, I'm in my own power. You know, you've made me this strong, which I'm so, in fact, you're thankful to them that you've made them strong. Ace of Swords, a victory. This is what they want to hand you. They're like, I don't want to fight. When you, when you, uh, like, it's like peace when you are a wave of flag, white flag. This is like, hey, you know, uh, this is my crown. I'm offering you this. I'm, I don't want to be a king. I don't want to behave like a king. I want to behave like an equal person. So this is what they're saying. And you, they've got the crown. They're like offering you that you're the, you're the queen. Whatever gender, please remember. Doesn't really matter, okay? Whatever gender. I thought a justice card, okay? And look, they just don't want to lose you. This is the amount of effort they'll put from everywhere. It's a big, big realization for them. It's, it's, it's effort everywhere. They could have just invested in a property. You could have invested in a property. I get you very against fur. I don't know why I get fur. Even I'm against fur. Like I, I really love animals. Okay. So it could be something like I'm getting protecting an animal. Protecting something. You want to protect someone. I mean you, you fight for human rights or some kind of rights. You stand up for that. Human rights or you very protective about animals. This is another thing. That I get you treat on all animals equal, equally. You just gave up eating meat. That's a strange thing I'm getting. Sorry. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Yeah, you've got new beginnings. Realizations. A stick with a new beginning. With leaves growing. With flowers. Not, not They're not going to hand you out a sword or an arrow or a bow. This is what they're handing you out. And it seems like a beautiful day. The sun is rising. You know, if you see this picture also, it's the sun is rising. Number seven, we've got nine, we've got ten, we've got eight. We've got most of most all, most numbers here. It's like I in my mind I got a message, you know. If you have to rate something from scale one to ten, I don't know why I got that. Maybe you were just rating something, or you know, you told them scale one to ten, or you rate me here, or you put me here, or you probably said that, or they said it to you. See, they behave like an emperor. But this emperor is gonna be wise, okay? 
this emperor will bring you justice. This is the crown they gave you. A wiser person. You could be a Libra dealing with the Libra I get. You could be an Aries also dealing with an Aries. I got the word harvest. I got the word something to do with golden harvest. Yeah, you've been feeling sad. This is what they've got. You were this worried. This is what you were weeping, not understanding the situation. You know, every night you were like, what have I done to them? What have I done to them that they are so mean to me? Look at this, guys. You have to have this card, Justice. And I'll show you this card also. That was at the end of the deck. Look at this, Libra. And look at this. Value, effort, making the effort, balance in the relationship, the scales. One side, one side is not heavier. This is justice. Look at the sword and Libra and look at the scales weighing, weighing something. Something is weighing them down. You know, that's the word that I get. But this is victory for you guys because you want to get justice. You could be with the twin flame. This is giving the effort. This is valuing you. Look at this, the effort. That I'm going to protect you. I'm going to care for you. I'm going to do things the way you did things for me the same way. This is promises. Promises that will make you happy. Okay, I'll, I'll read out because it's going to flip. It says, I want to see you. I am sorry, daffodils deviate, you know. Maybe they deviated from the way it was or went another way in the relationship. I got lens or laser. Maybe you got laser done because of the eyes. Something to do with lens. Maybe you're a photographer. They're a photographer. I get more like a wildlife photographer. Maybe a fashion, but I definitely get photographer while I was talking. Or maybe cameras are their passion or your passion. I got, or you could have bought a lens for your camera. They could have bought a lens for their camera. I get R, M, N, T as letters. Maybe they're important for you. R for red, M for mom, T for Tam. Uh, the numbers that are important for you are 294 could be birth date, birth months, milestones, relationship. Numbers, phone num. Uh, these numbers could be there on the phone, your phone, their phone. So those are my messages and I think they're beautiful message and I don't think you have to do anything. Even the uh, reading yesterday was like that. They have realized and they're going to make the effort, okay? Their perspective has changed, you know, the way they are, they become, they're going to be kinder, they, with their words, they're going to be more loving. There's definitely a change that you will see, okay? Take care, guys, and I'll be back another reading. Have a beautiful day and yes, I'll tell you more about my tarot classes if you're interested. Uh, my Gmail address is there in the description box in the Title, write tarot, interested in tarot, and I'll send you all the details. Bye.